don't believe me about the creepy tree? Yesterday, I specifically moved the branch off the dog gate. Here's what I woke up to today. It's up to something. Town Girl here, coming to you from day five of Snowmageddon 2023. I hope you um, have been watching this series. If you haven't, be sure to go back to the beginning. I have been having just all kinds of fun <laughs> up here in the snow. Anyway, the latest and greatest is that I decided to stay for another 48 hours, which means I still have one more snowstorm to go before I leave. And since I do not want to go back up on the roof in the snow, I've opted to uh, play a game of pulling in the slides when it's snowing and having them extended when it's not. Because it, as I mentioned, it's really hard to live and work in here with the slides in. So I thought that would be a great thing to show you today. I will show you what this place usually looks like when I'm living and working inside here and the slides are open. I will show you what it looks like when all the slides are closed and then be sure to stay to the end because I'm going to show you what it really looks like in here <laughs> overnight, which is a hot mess. You're not going to want to miss it. Please don't judge me. Here's what it really looks like. So we've got our little space heater to keep us warm. I like to keep a sheet on the bed. That's good for the dog hair. How are you doing, Shelby? I've got a little blankie these days for Wesley because he's been shivering since it's been so cold in here. And Mama's been miserly. Oh, Shelby, I can't film when you do that. Um, Shelby. <laughs> Shelby. <laughs> let, me, let me finish filming, then I'll let you. She wants to get off the bed and I won't let her off the bed. Okay, I also don't have the slide pulled all the way in because it comes all the way up to the edge of the bed and then I can't open my drawers which means no access to my clothes. And that's my little bedside media center. And let's see, it is 62 degrees in here. Not too cold. So now this is what the back end of Romeo Fancy Pants would normally look like once I have set myself up, slide is open, and I am not dealing with dodging snow. So this is where I keep my cell booster. Yeah, I still haven't gone Starlink yet. So far, my AT&T, Verizon, and cell booster have worked great. Moving on, I've got dog bed number one and dog number one, Shelby's toys, space heater when appropriate, and then this is what this usually looks like. I've got my journals. This is where I keep the dog food and dog treats. So that's what usually lives there. Then we've got the nice little dog crate back here. <laughs> Give me a Shelby. <laughs> and at any given time, you'll find one or the other dog in there. And then the bed, of course, is always beautifully made. Oh, forgot this. I'm in California now. Must recycle. This lives. Now here's what's really going on in the bunkhouse. So normally the dog crate is out, but there's no room for it with the slide. And then at night I stack my pillows on top of that. But see, since it's closed up, it has to go here. The pillows have to go here. And there are other things that normally live here when I am parked and the slides are open. When I'm in travel mode and I don't need to deal with going to sleep, <laughs> this is normally how things are. So dog crate comes into the hallway along with Wesley's crate. This of course is gonna slide and it will come like all the way to here. And then the bed is where I put my cell booster, my tripods, and a couple of these things. And this just makes the slide lighter for when I move it in and out. For today, since I may have to pull the slide in and it could start snowing and it could snow all the way overnight, I'm gonna do a hybrid where the bed is ready to go to sleep 
but I still have a lot of these items on it so that I can clear out the front area and hopefully be able to do some work up there because right now there isn't any room for anything. <laughs> so now I'm all set up to pull the slide in at a moment's notice and I don't have to worry about making or unmaking the bed. It's ready and I also pulled out sleeping clothes and clothes for tomorrow again since if I do close it up and it stays closed up overnight I am not going to be able to get into my wardrobe and just like that right on cue it started to snow so I did pull the slide in and here's what the back half of Romeo Fancy Pants is going to be looking like for the rest of the day And of course, I want to make sure I can open the bathroom door. You don't want the bathroom out of commission. It's very important. So now this is a combination of everything that is usually stored someplace else when the slides are open. But since the slides are in, everything had to go on the couch. And this includes some of the items that normally are hidden in the bunkhouse and things that I like to just keep on the floor. All right, ready? Okay, don't be scared. Camera equipment is suddenly here. Oh my God, look at the couch. I told you it's not pretty. Normally the space heater's on the floor. Normally I've got these guys that block the air that comes in from under the slides. I've got a carpet, but it's wider than the space when the slide is in. This is my table desk which there's no place for. But the good news is this is the overnight layout. So who cares? I'm not in here. And as long as I've gotten everything I need out of the uh, wardrobe drawers and closet, I can live with the slide being all the way up against the bed. Still snowing, so I haven't been able to open up the slide in the front half of Romeo Fancy Pants. So I can show you how it's normally set up when I'm stationary and I am living and working inside here. But for right now, let me show you. This is the best I could do, and this will be my work situation for today and tomorrow. Cleared off the couch, except for a couple of dogs. I wasn't able to make my draft blockers exactly flush, so there is some cool air escaping, but it's better than nothing. I wish I could put my carpet down, but there's not enough room. The most important thing, of course, is being able to set up my table so that I can do some editing. Hi, Shelby. Wesley, you gonna help me with the editing? I've got my coat drying off. Just a few extra little things here. And I don't quite have enough counter space for all these kitchen items. So I was able to find sort of a place to put the dog bowls and my lovely little day heater. Okay, here's hoping that the snow lets up for at least a half hour and I will open up this slide, I will set everything up the way it usually is and then I can include that as well. The snow let up for like half a second, so I opened up the front slide, I set everything up for the way it would normally be if I were just anywhere else and not playing a game of please don't pile snow up on my topper. And you'll see, it's a really big difference in here. Plenty of room to sit on the couch, plenty of leg room, my desk table, my computer. I've got the carpet down, which really makes the room so much warmer. I've got my draft blockers pressed up really nicely against the edge of the slide. I've got my little uh, space heater that works great in the front. And everything else is kind of still the same. Oh, and that is a much better place for the dog's bowls. Why do you look like you're in trouble? Come here, <laughs> Leslie, what's wrong with you? I don't know what's up with him. And I guess another thing I could show you is on travel day, what I do is I put things on the couch and when I am stopped and stationary, I store everything up in the front two seats. And it's like the laundry and I don't know, miscellaneous stuff. Wanna see? It's just stuff like, the laundry and oh I've got some towels that are all wet trying to get them to dry Oop, just a couple bags that's it
not much. And there you have it. Now you've officially seen what it's really like living inside an RV. I showed you what it looks like when I'm in travel mode, when I'm stopped and the slides are open and I'm stationary. And then of course, most interesting of all, how I've got this crazy place set up so I can sort of live and work in here while Snowmageddon 2023 is still going on outside. And if you're still here with me, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. That's one of those things that the YouTube algorithm just loves, along with giving videos thumbs up, leaving a comment, subscribing if you haven't subscribed, ring that bell notification, share this video with anyone else who you think might enjoy it. I'll do my best to post another video tomorrow, although I have absolutely no idea what the topic will be, so you'll have to tune in to find out. See you next time.